All right, so what's going on guys? So I'm getting ready to go to a showing with one of my clients. I've done a video before about uh, showings and kind of what you need to be asking, what you need to be looking for. That was for a first time home buyer. And so this client here that I'm gonna be uh, going out with, they've actually purchased, I think they've purchased like three properties with me. This would be either our fourth or fifth transaction together, but they're really savvy about purchasing houses. He's an investor, he's bought houses and fixed them up. He's also got Airbnbs as well. And so they just had a little one. And so now they're starting to into the upsizing phase, like they bought a house and you just don't know what's gonna come in your life, right? So I remember the first time Andrea and I bought a house. I mean, we were first time home buyers. We we're like, this is gonna be our forever home. I remember the builder was like, you don't need to be worried about putting everything that you need into this house. Uh, because you're gonna you're gonna move houses and lo and behold we have moved one two three we've had made four moves we've owned two houses but we've made four moves right now they are kind of in that phase and so what I want to do is just walk you around show you what it looks like for someone who is upsizing or selling a home that doesn't fit their needs anymore and looking for a home that uh, is gonna fit your current needs and future needs because the needs of a first-time home buyer and the needs of a downsizer are different from the needs of what we call an upsizer so if you already have a house and you're looking to purchase another one, then this is kind of what it looks like. So we're also uh, talking to him about our new program that we've got. It's actually a buy before you sell. So let's say you own a home and you can't purchase your new home without selling your old home. Well, you might have to put an offer in with a contingency. And depending on your risk tolerance and your life situation, you might not want to put your house on the market, get your house under contract, and then try to find a house because there's nothing on the market right now. There's no inventory out there right now, and you're probably wanting to wait. So then you're, you're just trying to figure out, do I put my house on the market, let it go under contract and then find a house? Or do I let my dream home come on the market, try to put my house on the market real quick, get my house under contract real quick so I can make an offer on a home? Because most sellers are more willing to accept a contingent offer if your house is already on the market and it's already under contract and that makes your offer stronger. So if you wanna know more about number one, the buy before you sell program, you know how to contact me. You can contact me in any way. You can give me a call, shoot me a text. You can uh, set up a Zoom or you can comment down on this video below. Let's go check it out. We're gonna go look at this house and uh, we'll see if you guys have any questions. All right, so we'll just head in inside here. So what did you see about this one that you liked? Dude, why are you looking for something new? I got three dogs, right? And right now I have this tiny little yard and it's just nasty. You hardly can't go out there. So what I'm looking for in this backyard is how I could segregate it to where the dogs could have their part and then I could have a nice part, right? Pool and entertain. Because when you entertain, you don't want dogs jumping on up everybody no backyard full of dirt so when you bought your house that you're at now did you not think about that whenever you bought the house you're at now so i bought that house with in mind to uh, flip it sell that house okay. right so to renovate it and fix it so we ended up moving into it but uh, i don't think had plans to stay in it, stay in it very long it's more like making it work versus what you want what about the rest of the house here? The biggest issue is all the bedrooms are over here. It's got four bedrooms and they're all over here on, on this side of the house, right? Uh, so you're looking for like a sequestered? Yeah, something sequestered, right? This is the master bath. It's, it's pretty small, right? Um, you kind of want a bigger shower, just a bigger area, right? Another thing going on with this house is they're asking a lot for it. It's a pretty small house and they're asking, what, five fifty nine. So a lot, right? So you're paying that much. I think they're, the, the backyard is really what's selling this house, but this is, you know, much more to be wanted. All right, before we head to the next point, if you're getting any value from this video and this is your first time here, I wanna encourage you to hit that like and subscribe button and hit the bell notification. That way you can be notified every time I come out with a new video. So what do you think of this one? Man, I think ultimately, I mean, it's at the very top of our price range right here, but you're kind of trying to get everything when you're trying to get at the very top of your price range, right? And there's things we could fix on this house, but it's like when you're spending that much money, 
you don't want to have to spend a lot of money on fixing it how you like. So yeah. At the right price, you can do it though. At the right price, for sure. All right, so a little bit of a recap from uh, our showing with my clients. So sometimes it can be a little bit harder for folks that are like looking to go from where they are to something bigger. And so that's really the thing that I, I wanted to be able to showcase a little bit. One thing that I didn't get on camera is that sometimes I think some of my clients feel like they're wasting my time, right? So we went by, we looked at that house. It wasn't, it ended up not being something that they were looking for, but uh, you're, not waste, you're not wasting your agent's time. It wasn't a waste of my time, right? So they're looking for something specific that is going to actually meet all of their needs. They're in a house right now that they don't actually have to get out of. That's how the process works, right? It's like, man, if you already have a house that you're in, it's not absolutely absolutely terrible, but you need to move. You know, you don't have a ton of motivation uh, to get out of your house, but if the right house comes up, then you're going to be ready to move, right? And so just some of the things that we were that we were talking through is you're going to have to figure out what are the things that you uh, are willing to live with and what are the things that you're not willing to live with, right? And so that house had an awesome backyard. The neighborhood that that house is in is absolutely awesome. But for this buyer, it's not gonna work, right? If you'll remember uh, in the in the footage here, he said, of course I'd buy this house at the right price. And so that's really the thing is, when you find the house that you want, is it at the right price? And then does it fit all of your needs? You need to know what your non-negotiables are because it's very rarely that a house fits every single thing that you want. You're gonna have to concede on some things, right? And then you're gonna have to figure out if the price of the home or the trade-offs are actually worth it. You know what I mean? And so that's really, uh, really what I wanted to do in this video. Just a short little vlog here. 